So today I found something out and it's actually a really cool program where you can make your um, fan in your computer go faster. That way if it's overheating or something you can cool it down quickly and it works perfectly. So over here as you can see this is the temperature of my computer. It also provides you with that so you know. Mine's pretty hot right now. You don't want it at 50. Um, 30 is a good thing but technically like it, that's only when you open up your computer for the first time like that it's going to do that it's not really always going to be a 30 ever so usually it's going to be f between 40 and 50 so if it gets to 50 you know you're going to have to turn this on but anyways you're going to go there i have a link in the description it's called smc fan control and in the description i'll get, give you a link and it will give you a free version of it it's the full version of everything but it's like free so you guys don't have to pay but anyways, you're going to want to click preferences, and this is your default. You're going to want to click a new one, not the default one. And I'll just name it YouTube. So create a new one. Pick a name for it. Then over here, this is all the types of fans you have in your computer. I believe, I think that's what it is. But anyways, yeah. So, turn them all to the very maximum speed and as you can see these numbers rise and click on HDD. Now other options you can do is change the picture of it so if you want the picture to be the icon which looks like that looks like this or like you can just edit stuff like that. I like personally having that there I already know how hot my computer is so I like temperature only you can edit the color <laughs> I did the strawberry pink I don't know why I did it but anyways yeah you can do temperature units I'll see it's Fahrenheit you can I suggest doing this to auto start and SMC fan control after login so yeah that's pretty cool and yeah what is this I don't know what that is. I think that's for if you have laptops and you want to know if it's dying so you can turn it off or something like that. I don't know. But basically, yeah, that's what you do. And I'm going to turn this on right now. You might be able to hear it. You might not be able to. I don't know if you can. But let me just try. So once you turn this on, you're going to hear it. Um, I can hear it now. I'm not sure if you guys can. Yeah, anyways. Why does that say 53? That says 55. But anyways. As you can see, this is going to, wow, it went up. Yeah, it's going to go down. And the fan just really is going to help you cool down your computer fairly quickly. And it's a very simple process, too. And that's why I said to make a new one. Because then after you can just click default and it turns off. Instead of having to go back into this, back into your preferences, go like that click save and then it turns off so it's just very easy if you use the default and keep it as default and make new ones so if you want to donate to them donate to them the other info's here and yeah thank you for watching and if you have any problems message me and i'll try to get back to you